certain we had best seek him out. Follow me, Master, if you... Would. I'll bring you to the one you seek. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. You would gather materials here, Master. Wolf's faster! Blame is its weakness! Oh, I do so enjoy this. Of the fall traveling beyond the rift, I uncovered a treasure chest hidden in this very locale. Shall we seek it out? <laughs> a worthy prize if only to work so far away Goodness, someone has a hand to lend. I'm all for smelling the roses, but just now I'd rather press on. My back. Shall I give it a try? You have my support.
As a matter of fact, the pain I experienced at the court coronation was beyond imagining. How might the technique used to control us be dispelled? Going this way now, I suppose. <sighs> By your will. The Arisen decides our path. We have but to follow. I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. Shall we proceed into the depths? Keep your eyes peeled, and beware of dark corners. Violin. A fantastic find! This is why I shall never tire of our adventures. So I uh, picked it up. Here you go. Is a chest. Let us hope your curiosity will be rewarded.
And here I was hoping for some great treasure. Oh, now I feel a fool. We cannot expect gleaming treasures round every corner. Most sensible, Master. You'll be able to move much more freely with a lighter pack. Is there no getting through this door? Apologies, Master. My mind was a thousand leagues away. Forgive me, but there's another matter I've been bursting to speak of. Namely... Is your pack not overburdensome? You carry so much, I worry for your poor spine. At last! I thought we'd never find one. A splendid discovery. Huh. I'll have to remember to tell my own master about this. The fiend unknown is the most perilous. Pray speak up, should you notice aught amiss. Might there be aught over there? We ought to take a closer look. We shall have to crane our necks to spot our foes in a place like this. Let us proceed with caution.
I'm confident we've scoured every nook and cranny of the place. That's quite a feat. Let us make for a safe location where we might regain our strength. While in another world, I happened upon a treasure chest rather close by here. Perhaps I could show you the way? moment I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. In spite of our amicable intentions, I have a knack for gathering items and am ever on the hunt for. of equipment enhancing choose a sorcerer for your service arisen and you shan't regret a grand adventure awaits us I... I shall be proud to serve you arisen I pray my efforts aid your cause you can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need mother I have a knack for combining materials Pray, call upon me again another time. Should you need to communicate in Elvish, pray call upon me. It is a pleasure to meet you. I've not much to say at the moment. I'm grateful to have served you for... St it is a pleasure to meet you. I pray my efforts aid your cause. I see you recognize my worth arisen. A well-organized pack is my specialty. I see not even the arisen could resist my... I pray my efforts aid your cause. Twill be a joy to serve one so ga... Arisen. Tis plain you've been training diligently in my absence. An unexpected reunion. Hey, 
our men In fair Averhum. Ango do telpe. Pindamun. Nun lia tilmo. Our men run Soron. Our packs are heavier, and our Akayel fill cal a room a fire in Iterond. Atele El Dal in Lala Star. Salma Arenfer, Alec. The port crystal is set, but we'll have need of a fairy stone should we seek to make use of it. What have you come for today? I have a request. Will you hear it? You sadden me.
We've arrived well enough. Where to next? We must rest. In another world, a bold and mighty warrior was the pillar of our party. I'd gladly assume the same role myself. Good morrow, everyone. Come, we've much to be getting on with. I hope you slept well. Say, have you been to Harp? It is a quaint little village down by the sea. Well, if you do visit, you might want to give the old man who lives there a wide berth. I hear he sets out to sea on his boat day after day, only to be returned to shore by the bride again and again. As if that wasn't queer enough, he's apt to talk your ear off about some world he believes lies beyond the sea. I cannot fathom his obsession. I suppose losing his family must have driven him to madness. These writings could be of import. Shall we take a closer look? What's to be done about Let's not this? be hasty now. say the Sovereign's up in the palace, recovering from his battle wounds. Seems driving away the dragon took quite a toll on our liege. Tell is, the beast's flames burnt him black as tar. It is a right miracle he yet lives, if you ask me. Might as well take a look while... You're here, eh? Many thanks. Might as well take a look while you're here, eh? What you need of me? Done, Master. Now a fairy stone can whisk us here whensoever we desire. Oh, 
Off we trot. Ox. Gods, mate. For relatively safer travel. Walking everywhere is certainly tiring. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? If you must go off on your own, there's naught to be done. I only hope you'll return sooner rather than later. It is not our place to hurry the Arisen. Not what to make of this. Pray, take care if you travel to... I shall not suffer this! I shall suffer none to disturb this peace. What could Mother be planning? If there is aught I can... Do you delight in vexing me? What am I to do? I can't wait to see what you're doing. me. This isn't right.
What power have I to resolve any of this? Always the same. They are. Such peace. So, this Ambrosius fellow possesses knowledge of the Godsway. Then we had best seek him out. Ah, yes. I know just where to find this person. Follow me. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. We must rest, though the sun is... Shall we get some rest then? I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. I'm only glad to have proved... I happen to understand Elvish, Master. I hope my magic served you well. Such quiet. Materials, eh? I shan't deny. They have their uses. See, look at my ways. Greeting. Might as well take a look while you're here, eh? Many thanks. Our packs are heavier, and our purses far lighter. We seem to have arrived without issue, but are we safe here? our first time here. Be vigilant. We do not yet know what the battle is upon us.
That was well fought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. We have yet to explore all the corners of this place. It would be a shame if we were to overlook. Off a mid. Bull arisen.
for being a burden arisen. I'll gather this. It might be of use. Here we go again.
Oh, well, well, well. Aren't you a fine specimen? Might I trouble you to show me your tongue? You're the very picture of health. I dare say a constitution such as yours could survive most any toxin. Have you ever crossed paths with an asp? If you have, I'm sure you'll agree that they are masterful poisoners. Not only do they spew venom with abandon, but they're crafty enough to coat their spears with the substance. Truly remarkable behavior. Tis fit to pique any scholar's curiosity. No? Thus, my task for you. Might you be so kind as to return to me afflicted with asp venom? The opportunity to study the poison's effects on a living specimen would further my research by leaps and... Ah, oh, come. Allow me a closer look. Let's see here. Pupils dilated, tongue swollen, and that's to say nothing of what's going on in your internal organs. So much to study. Splendid. I dare say I've learned all I can. I am in your debt, my friend. In truth, I did not expect you would oblige me. I have put this task to many, yet you are the first to follow through. When at last my research bears fruit, I will have you to thank. Now, on to your next task. I would have you subject yourself to the venom of the venom harpy. These magnificent creatures hunt in flocks, bombarding their prey from on high with a noxious onslaught. Hurry along and return only once you are afflicted. Oh, I can hardly wait.
your leisure, sir. Full glad I am to be returned to you, Master. I cannot thank you enough. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain... ...in by yourself. A troubling rumor has reached my ears, and methinks I ought to share it. It is said there is an illness Pause can contract beyond the rift that inflicts unspeakable... This tavern is open to travel. Aye, even pawns. So long as they've coined for their ale. I've got wares of every ill. Pleasure doing business with you. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeep understands. Take each day as it comes, I say. Think you could do me a favour? No. Shall we get some rest then? I feel refreshed and ready for a new day. If you desire a new look, but by the by, I've acquired some new techniques.
If you desire a new look, mayhap my services. Evade. It's been a hard day. You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Knowing when to use curatives is my sp I've got wares of every ilk. Pleasure doing business. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeep understands. to remain here. There's no one standing for us.
lost you. I believe this is intended as a means of transport. It would be interesting to see where it might take us. Remarkable! I can tell at a glance that the venom of a venom harpy is wreaking sweet agony upon you. Yes, indeed. The toxin is making fine progress. Let's see here. Elevated temperature, peeling of the skin, pupils unfocused. Oh my, so much to study. Splendid. I dare say I've learned all I can. I must thank you, my friend, for your steadfast assistance. I'm on the cusp of a new breakthrough and all thanks to your tireless efforts. Now, as for the next task, have no fear, it will not be so trying as the last. This time, I would have you accompany me while I subject myself to the venom of the Chimera. Much in this world can only be learned by experiencing it firsthand. My own health is a small price to pay to advance work of such enduring significance. I've marked out the spot I'll wait for you on your map, so be sure to join me there as soon as you can. We shall seek out the Chimera together. Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I'm by your side. Shall we get some rest then? Good morrow, everyone.
current empress may be young, but she's possessed of a devout heart. Her majesty is wise too, and deeply compassionate, oft decrying the discrimination of pawns in our society. Pawns are hated as bringers of calamity. Frankly, I'm not sure I like the idea of their ilk being treated as citizens. Yet, Her Majesty amended the law that punishes the use of slave labor so that pawns are protected as well. Her tolerance and grace ne'er cease to amaze me. Good day to you. Beg pardon, sir, but you wouldn't happen to be Batali, would you? You're not? Oh, thank goodness. I, I have a favour to beg, and I dare say I oughtn't ask it of anyone but a fellow Vermundian. This letter must reach the hands of a man called Ernesto. I've heard tell he's stationed on Volcanic Island, but the road in that direction appears to have been blocked off. It would seem another route lies to the south, only it is plagued by monsters. And I dare not brave it myself. But you seem the capable sort. A soldier, I dare say. I'm sure such beasts would pose little trouble for one of your skill. Pray aid me in this matter, sir. I should not ask such an ordeal of you if I was not sorely desperate. We ought to see this to its destination. Pray deliver that letter to Ernesto. While the road in that direction is blocked off, you'll find... Ox carts make for relatively safer travel. By and large, look as long as you please. Do come again. Our packs are heavier and our purses far lighter. Well met. Wonder if there's any. There's a tavern that stocks new liquor, but they only cater. This might contain useful information. A sprinkle of misfortune can make a pleasant. I long for the times when I was always on my feet. Is there naught being done?
You truly are formidable, Arisen. You'll have to excuse me. I have a job to attend. Have a care. This research is at a delicate stage. Who are you? Uh, no, n never mind. It is of little import. I'm searching for blue crystal shards. Find any, and I'll pay you handsomely. The bigger they are, the higher your reward will be. Are you I'm searching for blue cr My word, never did I dream it would come upon such a rarity.
Well, have you found any blue crystal shards? Is that all? Tiny fragments such as these aren't nearly good enough. Still, I expect I'll find a use for them here. Take your coin and be gone. Tis a god's sway. Well, to be precise, the crystalline substance from which tis made. By refining such crystals, anyone can attain the power of the Arisen. The power to command pawns, that is. However, small fragments are meaningless. They cannot contend with the Arisen's power, you see. Speaking of which, should you find any large fragments, bring them to me, won't you? Though that might be difficult, we've scoured this area quite thoroughly, I should think. Tis possible larger shards may have been mistaken for jewels and carried off by scavengers or collectors or some such. Mayhap one such as the Oracle or the Dragonforged would be able to aid you in locating them. I can tell you no more than that. Tis possible la Mayhap one such as the Oracle or the Dragon. This place offers a view of the sea. Since times of eld, dragon blood has been used to refine all manner of equipment. I myself learned the art by deciphering ancient texts. Remember, draconic blood flows through the veins of lesser drakes as well. Bring me what ye reap, and I shall harness it to your benefit. So long as ye retain your will, you'll find your bound to it, and it to ye. The dragon is the embodiment of destructive force. Though this does not mean that it is evil. Understand this. The concepts of good and evil are mortal inventions and thus cannot be applied to the dragon. It is a being of a higher order, as are ye. Now that the dragon has marked ye, setting ye apart from your fellows. The Arisen is a transcendent being, always chosen by the dragon. It marks for itself the individual who must fell it. Thus, when the dragon is made manifest, so too is an arisen. And should that arisen fall, another shall rise in their place. The cycle is doomed to continue till the dragon is felled. For that is what the will of this world has ordained. I am the husk of he who was once arisen. My final battle against the dragon culminated in the loss of the will that should have seen me bring the creature low. Thus, as the Arisen is defined by the strength of their will, from that moment on I was Arisen no longer. Such is the world's will. 
I dare say it compels me ere now to impart upon ye all the knowledge I possess. The Godswain? Forgive me, but I've ne'er heard of such a thing. However, some years past, a sorcerer of Batal came to me seeking knowledge of the dragon, just as ye have. Faces, sir, I believed he called himself. It appeared his intent was to alter the will of the world through mortal means. Perhaps there is some connection. Ye need not seek the dragon. It will find ye. Aye, make no mistake. The dragon will appear before ye when the time is come. Still, I suppose I can tell ye about a rumor I heard the other day. Apparently, a dragon was sighted in Harve Village, though I am not sure I believe it. After all, now that ye have been marked as a risen, the dragon ought next appear before ye at the appointed time. So it stands to reason that e'en if a creature of draconic aspect and destructive powers did appear in that village, t'was no dragon. A mockery of one, perhaps, but not the dragon true. The substance of which ye speak is formed of crystallized droplets of dragon blood. Worm's life crystals can be obtained not only from the true red dragon, but from lower drakes as well. They retain a measure of draconic power, and when used correctly, will bestow upon ye powers that eclipse the will of this world. Then go. But visit me again when ye have spilled draconic blood. Since times of eld, dragon blood has been used to refine all manner of equipment. I myself learned the art by deciphering ancient texts. Remember, draconic blood flows through the veins of lesser drakes. As well. It is for ye to determine what that bond constitutes, be it a hapless fate or a curious boon. Then go. Since times of El remember. Draconic blood. Then I bid ye farewell and safe travels. I've a knack for combining materials that I hope you'll find useful. I'll.
Here at last. Now to locate that Chimera. I do hope Sir Jarl will be all right. Let us safeguard him well, lest he meet an early end. By your leave.
a burden arisen. Such treasures are seldom found. You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. We've made it then. What's our first order of business arisen? Well met, sir. How might I be of service? Welcome, as a discerning customer like yourself will doubtless appreciate. We offer excellent service. Always a pleasure. One day, I'm going to have proper raiment. Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I'm by your side. My heart beat pounds in my ears. My gut writhes like a nest of snakes. Extraordinary. This is the potency of the Chimera's venom. I feel more symptoms developing even as I speak. The poison must be entering its final stages. Allow me to thank you ere I lose consciousness. Once again, your assistance has proven invaluable. Thank you for your help, my friend. Few would have deigned to give me the time of day. Outstanding. Thank you again, my friend. Your contribution shall not be forgotten. at your leisure, sir. I am attentive and loyal. 
and prefer to remain by your side. You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Are you fit to travel? Then let's not dawdle. I have a modest talent for spotting materials that can be used to enhance your... A well-organized pack is my specialty. I'll see to it your bird. Shall we discuss tactics now or later? A troubling rumor has reached my ears, and methinks I ought to share it. It is said there is an illness spores can contract beyond the rift that inflicts unspeakable harm on those around them. As it progresses, the pawn gradually loses all self-control, and in time will even cease to heed the Arisen's commands. How terrible. We shall have to be alert for signs of the sickness among our number. What does this say? Shall we take a closer look? We must rest. Good morrow, everyone. Come, we've much to be getting on with. A new day, a new perspective. Well, I just know it. Shouldn't have mixed those colors. 